Hi everyone, welcome to Naresh Technologies. This is Srinivas. So, in the last session, we discussed how to print a pattern, nothing but how to print a stars in a two dimensional format, right. So, this uh, this pattern we discussed in the last session, how to print this pattern, right. So, actually, to print any pattern in a two dimensional format, here it is a two loops are required, two loops. So, one is the outer for loop and next one is a inner for loop right skeleton i am writing here it is we are printing printf star we are printing star we are printing and here it is so we are writing just how to send the control to next line slash n slash n so now question so in the last program so we discussed how to print this pattern using two modify operators nothing but two increment operators right now we are we are using how to print the same pattern using two decrement operators using two decrement operators how to print the pattern okay see so now i value starts with a 5 i value starts with a 5 so values also we are changing starts with a 5 4 3 2 1 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Sir, what are the j values? So, that we need to find out. Look at this. i equals to 5. i is greater than or equals to 1. i minus minus. So, how many times it will repeat? 5 times it will repeat. In a decreasing order. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And now inner loop. j value. So, what is the initialization? So, what is the condition? and here it is a decrement operator we are using this is already we know right here it is we need to use a decrement operator modify operator but here it is what is the initialization and what is the condition what is initialization what is the condition here first we need to print only one star next we need to print only two stars next we need to print only three stars right how to write for example here j value starts with a 5 j value starts with a 5 and j is up to i j is up to i now observe first i value the control move inside with i equals to 5 j value also starts with a 5 na? j value starts with a 5 5 4 3 2 1 values consider here it is i equals to 5, 5 is greater than or equals to, so what is that i value is a 5, is a condition true, because greater than or equals to condition is there, greater than or equals to 5 condition true, it will print this star. Next, whenever j value decreases, j value become 4, 4 is greater than or equals to 5, condition has failed, then it will terminate in our loop then here it is a slash n it will send the control to next line next i value decreases i value become 4 again j value starts with a 5 5 is greater than or equals to now what is that i value 4 and here it is so what are the values it will print here it is j equals to 5 5 is greater than or equals to 4 come inside it will print this star next j value become 4 4 is greater than or equals to 4. Again, what value it will print? Come inside star. Now, second star it will print. Next, whenever j value become 3, 3 is greater than or equals to 4, condition has failed. Again, terminates. Right? Next, again, i value will decrease. Is a 3. Come inside. Again, j value starts with a 5. 5, i value is a 3. 5 is greater than or equals to 3. 1 star next j value decreases 4 is greater than or equals to 3 second star next it will decrease 3 is greater than or equals to 3 third star it will print so in the same way right all these for loops executes and it will print this pattern but in some of the interviews they will ask not only print stars right so numbers also they will ask very simple suppose in this situation instead of star Suppose, if you are printing i value, in a first case, i value is a 5. So, 5 times, 
I mean only one time 5 it will print. In the second iteration i value is a 4, 2 stars it will print na, so 2 times 4 and 4 it will print. Next the third iteration i value 3, so 3 times. Next i value 2, so 4 times. Next i value 1, so this pattern will print whenever you are printing i, i values it will print. Sir, for example, instead of i, I am printing j value, sir j value. Sir, then what it will print? So, j value will print this one. So, what is that? First, j value starts with a 5, right? So, first 5 it will print. Second iteration, j value starts with a 5 only, but 5 and 4, 2 times it will print. 5 and 4. Next, 5, 4, 3. Next, 5, 4, 3, 2. And next, it will print 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. These are the values background values these are background i values and background j values with these two only so we are printing that star okay right so this is how to print the pattern same pattern right so with the help of two decrement operators with the help of two decrement operators here it is all our i values this is completely printing i and this is j if you print but logic is the same logic right instead of printing i and j suppose if you print a star then star it will print okay sir for example <coughs> if suppose in the outer loop so we are using increment operator right and in the inner for loop so we are using decrement operator or in a outer for loop we are using a decrement operator in a inner for loop, we are using increment operator. Then what is the logic? What is the logic? See. So, now we will see for loop. Suppose in the outer for loop, I am using increment operator. So, i equals to 1, i is less than or equals to 5, i plus plus, it is fixed. Right? Because increment operators, na? increment operator, so i value starts with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Inner for loop we have to change. What is the initialization? What is the condition? What is the condition? And uh, what is the modify? So, modify already we know. Sir, in the outer for loop is a modify operator plus plus, right? In a inner loop, modify operator is a minus minus. Then what is the condition? Initialization and what is the condition? Condition. And inside, so logic is the same. Just print f printing star, printing star and next one print f, print f, here it is a slash n, slash n. So, now what logic we need to write? Here it is in the first case we need to print only one star, j value starts with a i, j is greater than or equals to 1, starts with a i, j is greater than or equals to 1, see is nothing but here j value starts with a i is a decrement operator. So, i minus 1, i minus 2, i minus 3, i minus 4. Those are the values. So, what is the value? We do not know. See first, i value equals to 1. j value starts with i. So, means what j value 1? Na? 1 is greater than or equals to 1. Yes, condition true come inside. It will print this star. So, nothing but first star it will print. Next, j value become 0, 0 is greater than or equals to 1 condition, false, failed. Then, outer loop increases, i value become 2, come inside, come inside and here it is, j value starts with a i, nothing but j value 2, 2 is greater than or equals to 1, condition true, condition true, come inside, it will print the second star. Next, j minus minus value become 1, still condition true, it will print the second star. Next, here it is a j value become 0, condition has failed, then it will terminate and outer loop will increase. Again, i value starts with a 3, so j starts with a 3, condition true. First star, j value become 2, second star, j value become 1, it is a third star. So, like that it will repeat. Sir, suppose if you are printing i value, sir, what it will print? 
see in the first case i value is a 1 so 1 time 1 in the second case i value 2 so 2 times 2 3 times 3 4 times 4 5 times 5 it will print this logic also you can write to print this pattern sir suppose if i am printing j value then what pattern it will print see first j value starts with a 1 so 1 it will print one time next j value starts with a 2 two values 2 1 3 2 1 4 3 2 1 5 4 3 2 1 this one it will print this pattern and if you print i value this pattern it will print okay and next sir for example if i am writing here it is a minus minus and here it is a plus plus so then what will happen and what are the patterns it will print whenever you are printing i value and j value that you please try okay for more videos please subscribe to narish channel thank you